Okay, so we're going to start on page 20 in our workbook where it says key concepts. So we're going to talk about adding integers with the same sign. So to add integers with the same sign, we add their absolute values. And our absolute value is our distance from zero. So if the sum is positive, if both integers are positive, and negative, if both integers are negative. So here are two examples. Positive 7 plus positive 4 equals 11. That's the same as you've been seeing since kindergarten. And now we have negative 7 plus negative 4 equals negative 11. So let's go and go through this example, or these two examples. So it says find negative 3 plus negative 2. All right, so using our number line, we can see if we start at 0, we go down to negative 3, and then down 2 more, which is negative 5. Or if we look here, we know that the absolute value of negative 3 is 3, and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. We add those, and the signs are the same, so we keep the sign negative 5. Okay, and that just goes along with what it was saying. If both integers are negative, it stays negative. Okay? So down here, we have negative 26 and negative 17, okay? Again, it tells us both integers are negative, so we know right off the top of the, our head that the uh, answer is going to be negative. So we add 26 and 17, and we get negative 43. Okay, so now we're going to work through some of the got it problems. Okay, and we're going to see how we do. So if I have negative 5 and negative plus negative 7, we know that our answer has to be negative. And we know that because if we add two negatives, our answer is negative. And so then now we just add the two absolute values, 5 and 7. Well, 5 plus 7 is 12, so we know our answer is negative, so our answer is negative 12. So then again, we look here. Both signs are negative. So our answer is going to be negative. 10 plus 4 is 14. Negative 14. Okay. C. We know both answers are, or both integers are negative. So our answer is going to be negative. Okay. So that's negative 14 minus 16 is negative 30. Now, if you wanted to think about doing these on a number line, I'll just I'll model A because it's smaller numbers, but so if I, I'm just going to start with zero here, but so I, I'm sorry, I'm going negatives, so I'll start with zero on the opposite side. So we start at zero, and we go to negative five. Negative five. Now we want to go, we want to take seven more away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then we go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Negative twelve. Okay, so even if you don't have a number line, you can create your own number line. I could have also put this line high up, up above, up here if I wanted to. Okay, to see that it's the second thing that I do. Alright, but we can see that I start at negative five or negative zero, I go to negative five, and then the next, from there, I go negative seven more, which gives me a negative 12. The next one we're gonna talk about is adding integers with different signs. Okay, this is when it gets a little tricky. To add integers with different signs, you subtract their absolute values. And we know that the sum is positive if positive integers absolute value is great, greater, or if the, negative, if the negative integer's absolute value is greater. So in another way to say that, whichever term has the highest absolute value, that is the sign that goes along with the answer. So we have nine plus negative four. So it says we subtract their absolute values. Nine minus four equals five, okay? So in our absolute values, which one has the higher absolute value? Nine, so our answer is, is positive. Here we have nine, minus, or nine plus four, 
And so we subtract their absolute values, and again, we know we're going to get 5, but it's a negative 5 because this 9 has a higher value. Its absolute value is higher than 4. Okay. So now we are going to talk about, or to continue on. So when you add integers with different signs, you start at zero. You move right for positive. Right is positive. Okay? Left for negative. So the sum of P plus Q is located a distance absolute value from P. Okay, that's just a mathematical way of stating what we're doing here. So this is saying if, if 5 plus negative 3, I start at 0, I go to 5, and then I move back negative 3, and I end up at 2. Here, I start at, or I start at 0, I go to negative 3, and then I add 2, and I end up at negative 1. Okay, so let's try these uh, got it problems. So I have 6 plus negative 7. So if I have my number line, which I will draw over here, okay, I'll do zero here, and let's do six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So my first goes to here, all right? My first line goes here. And then it says I add negative seven. So from there, I go back because I'm adding a negative 7. Anytime I see a negative, it tells me to go backwards. So I go back one place to negative 1. Okay, so my answer is going to be negative 1. Okay, so I'm not going to show E on a number line, but if I started out at negative 15 and I add 19, or I took 19 minus 15, I get 4 because that means I've moved 19 spaces right and I moved 15 spaces left. Or I could start out at 0, move 15 spaces left, and then add 19 spaces to the right. That's going to put me 4 more than 0. And lastly, we will go through the last examples down here. So we have uh, the example finds 7 plus negative 7. Now, most of you have been really great at being able to determine opposite numbers. So, it's you subtract absolute values, 7 minus 7 equals 0, and, negative, and 7 and negative 7 are opposite, so the sum of any number in its opposite is always 0. Star this. This is very important. Okay? So this is our definition of opposite numbers. Okay. Uh, number 6, negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So I subtracted the absolute values. 8 minus 3 is 5. Since negative 8 has a greater absolute value, the sum is negative. And then number 7. This has got a couple steps here. So I have 2 plus negative 15 plus negative 2. So 2, we've, they've rearranged here. The commutative property means any order is in, in addition it can be in any order, it's the same sum. So 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 15. So I'm going to do that first on this one. This is the associative property, so I associate these two together. And then I have 2 plus negative 2, which is 0, plus negative 15. Well, if that's 0 plus negative 15, my answer has to be negative 15. So and that's the added identity property. So these are all properties here. All right, our identity property is anything added to zero is itself, okay? So, and over here, we have a nice little star and a little note on our page that talks about our properties. Now, lastly, we're going to do our got it problems. Now, I have 10 plus negative 12. Well, there's more negative, so my answer is going to be negative. 
And the difference between these two is 2, so it's a negative 2. Then I look at G. I can see that my answer is going to be positive. And then I take 18 minus 13, and my answer is 5. Okay. And I can put these over here, negative 2, 5. And then I have 14 plus, or negative 14 plus negative 6. Well, those are the same, so I need to add those together and keep the sign. So that's going to give me 20, negative 20, plus 6. So now that I've got negative 20 plus 6, I know my answer is going to be negative. And I actually take 20 minus 6, which is going to give me 14. So that gives me a negative 14. So the last thing we have before what you need to do is the example, the word problem example, the real world example. And that is a roller coaster starts at point A. It goes up 20 feet, down 32 feet, and then up 16 feet. So it says write an addition sentence to find the height at point B in relation to point A, then find the sum of it and explain its meaning. Okay, that sounds like a lot of words, but it's not too difficult. Because if I go up, there's my positive 20. Then I go down, that's my 32 feet, and my negative, okay? And then I go up again, 16 feet, excuse me. So then if I put these together, I will add these, to, these together, and I would add the two positives together. That's 20 plus 16, which gives me 36. And then I have minus 32. Well, I know my answer is going to be positive because this has a higher absolute value. And then I subtract. 36 minus 32 is 4. So point B is 4 feet higher than point A. So then the last, I guess, I'm sorry, there's one last data problem. It says the temperature is negative 3. An hour later, it drops 6 degrees. And two hours later, it rises 4 degrees. Write an addition expression to describe this situation and find the sum and find the sum and explain its meaning. So, first of all, my temperature where I start is going to be negative three. And then it says it drops six degrees. Well, drops means it goes down. So minus six degrees. And then this and two hours later, it goes up four degrees. So that's going to be negative three plus negative six, or I'm sorry, let me rewrite that that way. Negative three plus negative six plus two. Okay, so then I could take and add my two negatives together. Negative with negative, keep the sign. That's going to be negative 9 plus 2. I know my final answer is going, or I'm sorry, plus 4. Excuse me, I, I make mistakes too. So it rises 4 degrees. I was thinking 2 hours. So plus 4. So then I have negative 9 plus 4. I know that my answer is going to be negative because there's more negatives and I get negative 5 because 9 minus 4 is 5. So now you need to do the guided practice 1 through 5 uh, in class. Thank you.